It's your girl, Georgia. Zoff the Remy, had a bad news. Had to hit my old town, let's get the news. Two four hour lockdown, we made no moves. Now it's no way in. And I'm back up, popping with you. What's good, YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jordan. Today's video is going to be real quick and real easy and real cute. I just wanted to bring you guys along my process to style a pair of shoes with me. And as you can see by the title and also in the background, that shoe in this video is going to be my Shattered Backboard 3.0. So these are not dead stock. I don't wear them all the time, but they are frequent enough in my lineup. They are the patent leather version. I have my laces alternating. So one orange and one black, you know, got to keep it a little spicy or whatever, even though everybody and their mama does that now i did it before it was a trend okay let's not i literally just want to walk you guys through my outfit i'm gonna take it piece by piece and explain it then put it on model it for y'all give you guys a little outfit inspiration so let's get into the video since this fit is solely dedicated to the shoe, I usually pick the shoe and then make the outfit around the shoe. So we're gonna work from bottom to top. We already have the shoe, and I'm gonna show y'all the pants that I chose. All right, you guys, so the pants that I have chosen for today are these black Wrangler cargo pants. You can't really tell on camera, the lighting's not doing it justice, but I have my cargo pants here. They are a little linty, you feel me? They are straight leg. They are also considered relaxed fit, so they're not gonna be super tight around the ankles unless you decide to pin them sometimes that's what I choose to do sometimes I just let it hang over the shoe I'm not a hundred percent sure on what I want to do yet for today but y'all will see by the end of the video by the way everybody likes to hype Dickies cargo pants but Wrangler is also where it's at just so y'all can see they are Wrangler relaxed fit pants and I think my size is a 38 30 because you know your girl's a thicky. I got hips and a booty and thighs so I have to be able to pull it up the waist is huge on me but it is what it is because that's what belts are for and shoestrings for the TikTok girl now that we have the pants laid out, let's get into everything on top. So I'm just going to tell y'all right now, this is going to be a very layered look. So I have this Nike bra top that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Don't ask me why I'm about to pull out a bra top in the midst of fall slash winter. When you're in Seattle, you will get quite sick of the weather preventing you from wearing your clothes, okay? So yes, like I was saying, I have this Nike bra top, okay? She's cute. She's very simple. This comes from Frankie Collective in a size medium. But I got this when I was literally in high school, so I am positive that that website is not the same that it used to be and I honestly don't know if I will ever be shopping there again. There's plenty of other places that you can get vintage reworks though like Sorella Boutique and places alike. So bra top is the first layer, right? The next layer is going to be this sheer shirt. We're gonna put a sheer shirt over the top of the bra top just to give it another dimension. It's not like it's gonna make me any warmer, but you know, I'm gonna be cute. I'm going to be cute, okay? We love a sheer top moment. The last layer to this look is going to be the warmth, okay? So I'm gonna wear this big bomber jacket that babe got me. Tag still on it and everything because I have not worn her yet, but it's a bomber jacket and it says race on the front. This angle's not doing it well whatsoever. Let me just explain it. It's a bomber jacket. It says race on the front it comes from H&M and it was exactly $59.99 what a great ticket price this jacket was definitely a little bit more on the spendy side but for my cheap girls I do think it's a good investment because it's pretty warm so here's another last look at the jacket a better angle it says race and it has a bunch of random stuff on the front that's just like giving NASCAR giving little NASCAR vibes it's got this patch on the side with the number on it. It's number 90. It's not heat transfer. It's actually like sewn into the jacket. I'm not sure if y'all can tell by the material and please don't judge my nails. I understand that they're crusty. I don't need the reminder. This is the other sleeve. This part is not heat transfer. This is actually like sewn into the jacket from what it feels like. So I'm sure y'all can tell very simple, very basic fit. It's a little matchy matchy for some's liking, but you know, it is what it is. I'm a matchy matchy girl. What can I say? The oranges aren't spot on but they're close enough and one thing to always consider when styling your shoes and just clothes period if you're a matchy matchy person cool you can find clothing pieces that match your shoes very well but don't trip if it's not spot on the color and don't trip if it doesn't seem like it goes you just have to know how to balance the colors out and you will be fine that is basically my outfit let's go and put it on and I'll show y'all what the final look is all right all right, you guys, this is the final result. I did throw on some accessories. That is completely your choice, whether you want to add them or whether you want to just leave the outfit as it is. Nice and plain, nice and simple. But this is the final result. Hopefully you can see all of this. 
History, I'll calm down eventually. Fall back eventually. Things coming back eventually. Fall back eventually. Yeah. Baby, I'm overreacting. Maybe I don't know what happened. You know all about my bad habits. You know it's all for me to control that shit, man. Cause when I get mad, I get big mad. Should've never did that. Get back. I'm through the wrath of a menace in my back and my feelings in my back. Here's a closer look at the top half of my body. Y'all get the gist, okay? The Nike bra is on. It is a wrap, but I'm not gonna wrap. I just put the, I just tied it. You get the gist, I just tied it. Put the jacket on over top. I did throw on a belt because your girl's waist is on thinner. Like I said, I did accessorize. I got my 1999 chain on with my basketball chain that I never take off. Shout out to my dad. Some rings, like I said, ignore my nails. I gotta take this polish off. I did throw on a little bracelet just for some extra details. I hope that you got the gist. I hope that this gave you a little bit of outfit inspiration. If you have the Shattered Backboard 3.0. Fellas, don't be discouraged. You can still use this as outfit inspiration inspiration just throw on a little plain black tee or a graphic tee with a bomber jacket or something along those lines and you can use this concept to inspire a whole other concept i hope that you enjoyed this video let me know if you want to see me do this with another shoe and if you have any shoes in mind comment them down below and i will bring that content to y'all thank you for watching this video make sure that you follow me on instagram subscribe to the channel give me a big fat thumbs up i'm gonna see y'all in the next one bye